In this video, I want to discuss common types of concentric locators, such as these dowel pins shown here in blue, locating off of reamed holes. Dowel pins can be purchased on size or undersize. Undersized dowel pins are very common in the jig and fixture when we need to locate on a reamed hole, such as this one, that has been reamed to 3 16 The hole tolerance on these two holes is 0.1875 to 0.1880 giving a half a thou of tolerance. Standard hardening ground dowels come one tenth to three ten thousandths of an inch oversized, meaning a three sixteenths dowel pin would be 0.1876 to 0.1878. This would not be a good choice for this fixture because the maximum material condition of the hole is 0.1875 and the maximum material condition of the pin is 0.1878, causing an interference fit, which is not what we want for a part to be easily located on and off of a fixture. Whereas undersized dowel pins come with a tolerance of plus nothing to minus two ten thousandths of an inch, making the maximum material condition size of an undersized 3 16 dowel pin 0.1875. This will be a perfect application for my fixture. Oversized dowel pins can also be purchased with the tolerance of plus nine ten thousandths of an inch to plus one thou two ten thousandths of an inch. When one of the two parts that a dowel pin aligns cannot have a through hole, such as the plate shown here, a pull dowel is often used, allowing the dowel to be pulled out with a dowel puller. They can come with spiral vents or flat vents as also shown here, and the vent allows the air to escape from the hole as the dowel is tapped into it. Diamond pins as shown here, a variation of a dowel pin, can also be purchased. The sides are relieved so there's less contact area making the part easier to load and unload. They also come with planar locators as shown here or without as shown here. When two diamond pins are used as shown here, they should be set 90 degrees to each other so that one pin stops movement in one axis and the other pin stops movement in the other direction. Collets as shown here are another great form of concentric locators. They also act as a clamp and, because they change their size to accommodate the part, allow for greater variation in part size while still maintaining an accurate concentric location. Where collets make great concentric locators for OD of parts, expanding mandrels, as shown here, are great concentric locators for IDs of parts, also adding a clamping force and the expansion allows for variation in part size while maintaining a high accuracy of concentric location. One more type of concentric locator worth mentioning are V-blocks as shown in these two fixtures. V-blocks are great when their tight tolerance to OD diameter is used to locate from. 